Hello, magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a collective reading for the full moon in Cancer that is happening on December 30th, 2020. Please look up the exact date and time that the full moon in Cancer is happening. If you live in a different part of the world than me, I am located in the United States on the West Coast. We are ending 2020 with a full moon in Cancer and we began 2020 with a full moon in Cancer. This reading is going to be general. This can apply to all areas of life. Please use your own discernment when watching this video and only take the message or messages that speak to your soul and what doesn't speak to your soul, release it and let it fly. If you are interested in purchasing a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, my list of services are listed below. They can be booked exclusively in my Etsy shop, nowhere else. If you are interested in purchasing the decks I created, and the Twin Flame music deck I co-created. If you are in the United States, they can be purchased in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My Instagram is at Butterfly Intuition. I only have one Instagram. My Facebook, my Patreon community, my blog website, and my donation links are listed below. The spread I'm going to be using for this reading I found on Pinterest. The first section is called release. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to release on this full moon in Cancer to end 2020 and not take it with you in the new year? The deck I will be using for this is the Twin Flame Shadows by Mystic Moon Oracles. And you can find Mystic Moon on Etsy guarded is the first thing that needs to be let go of. Being guarded, being in fear, listening to the ego, that needs to be transformed. That is what the butterfly on that card is showing me. Releasing this energy, letting it go, leaving it in 2020 and not taking it with you in 2021 is what needs to go. Now, of course, it may not be easy, for you to release this energy, especially if you have been in this energy for a long time, could be years, months, most of your life, all of your life. It is going to take time. I am drawn to the side of the skull here. That shows me it could be at a snail's pace, but the butterfly confirms if you really work on releasing this energy, it will transform and it will be let go of on this full moon in Cancer. This is really big for those who have struggles or are stuck in a love connection, trying to move forward, either calling in a new love partner, rekindling with a past love or a lost love, or simply going to the next level with a current love partner. Whatever needs to be released with this guarded energy, putting down the sword, I'm being shown the Queen of Swords, putting down the sword, opening your heart, being vulnerable, making sure the heart chakra is open and balanced will help that even flow of unconditional love come in and out. The next thing that needs to be let go of is non-action. This shows me if you are in a love connection or a situation that is not having any action. You intuitively feel something is going to shift, something is going to happen, perhaps someone is going to return. You are getting signs, you are getting synchronicities, but nothing is happening in the physical, but everything in the 5D, in the dream state, in the meditative state is showing you otherwise. Releasing what is keeping you attached to the 3D must be released with this full moon in Cancer. Releasing attachments to outcomes, to timelines, 
expectation. You can transform out of this. There is another butterfly. So transformation is the theme that's coming through for this full moon in Cancer. You can transform out of this by accepting the situation for what it is, accepting the person for who they are and what they are or are not doing. You will transform out of this energy and it will help you get in sync with your intuition by trusting and knowing and just believing what you feel intuitively despite what you are seeing or not seeing in the 3D. The next thing is sellout. This energy comes with maybe you feel like you are a sellout, that you are not living to your highest potential, or you're not following the beat of your own drum. You are listening to what your family, your friends, or your boss wants you to do. Maybe you're staying in a situation, a relationship that you know doesn't serve you anymore. Whatever this situation is does not serve your highest and greatest good. And it is time to release it. To walk away if you can. Make plans to walk away if you can't just walk away. If it's a relationship such as a marriage with children or even a job that has financial responsibility attached to it. Whatever the sellout energy is, you can shift it. You don't have to be stuck in this. I'm actually being shown the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is when you feel bound to a situation, but you can unbound yourself and walk away anytime you want. You can transform out of this energy, but it's just a matter of you making a choice, start taking active steps forward, and to make the commitment to change your life one step at a time. Repelled is the next thing that needs to be released. This energy is the energy that you put out into the universe towards other people. When you are thinking negative, toxic, and low vibration thoughts about a person or a situation and even yourself, you send that energy out to yourself and you will repel people. I'm being shown a love connection because a lot of people follow me for love who are separated or in some type of conflict with their love partner. If you are trying to shift something in a love connection, if you are trying to rekindle something, have a second chance with someone that you parted ways with either in 2020 or the year or two before, you must have an open mind when it comes to this person, this relationship, this connection. You must have positive thoughts. You must shift from the negative. You must shift from the toxic. Living in the past, having expectations, wanting them to do a certain thing and then getting mad when they don't. All of this energy, all of these feelings, you may find yourself during this period reliving the past, playing a scenario over and over again. Whatever is coming up to the surface is coming up for you to feel it, to heal it, to clear it, and to release it. Leave it in 2020. Don't take it with you. Shift out of this energy so you can transform into a new beginning. And the last thing that needs to be let go of is pitiful. What I'm getting from this card is being in victim mode. See how that man is kneeling down with his hands behind his head and he feels restricted, bound, that he can't go anywhere, that he must stay where he's at, but there's nobody in that alley telling him that he has to stay there? It is a matter of choice. He can get up anytime he chooses. He can, can continue going down that dark alley or he can turn around and walk out of that alley and go in a new direction. Look at it like that in your life, the situation that's on your mind. Any situation or your entire life that you want to change, that you want to transform out of, you can do it. It's a matter of getting out of that unbound energy, being in victim mode, blaming people for your problems, not taking responsibility for your actions or your part in a situation because it takes two to tango, whether it's a love connection, a family relationship, a friendship, or a work relationship. 
So if you can put down the sword, accept the situation for what it is, not believe you are a sellout and know you can change, change your thoughts, how you look at yourself, how you view the world, how you view other people, and get out of victim mode, get up and go in a different direction and start 2021 in a new way and leave behind what no longer serves your highest and greatest good in 2020. My throat started bothering me, so I had to take a quick sip of water. So whatever you are not saying or you're afraid to say, the throat chakra might be something you want to work on so you can speak your truth, stay in your power, and never let anyone take your voice away. The next section is transformation. So how can you reach your full potential? So as you release and let go of what no longer serves you, how can you reach your full potential? I will be using the Black Moon Astrology deck for this part of the reading. Black Moon Lilith, number 12, which equals a three, mystery. Put a little mystery into this situation, especially if this is a love connection. By not putting yourself out there, being available or your person, whether you're with them, separated from, don't let them know everything you're doing. Be a little mysterious. Give them something to talk about, something to think about, so they can be like, well, she's not that active on social media, or he's not that active on social media, or I haven't heard from him or her. They haven't texted me. Make them wonder where you are, because when you shift the focus from the focus being on them, and you shift the focus to yourself, you put a mystery out there because you are transforming and you are putting yourself first and then you can get into the path of union with yourself. The next thing is Capricorn I use number 22 which equals a four and we are in Capricorn season so this could be a special message if you are a Capricorn or have Capricorn somewhere in your chart. But Capricorn is an earth sign, and Capricorn is about being grounded, being stable, and being ready for new beginnings. Because Capricorn season started right as we had the 1221 energy shift, the new earth. So use your talents. Use your knowledge. Use what you have. And make the best of it and create something new. So if you have been wanting to go in a new direction, maybe go on a new career path or do something as a side hustle to see if it could possibly become a full-time career, this is your message to start getting the creative juices going because any fear that you have attached to not believing you can make
anymore. Now that you're transforming into a new cycle, what is coming to light now? The deck I'm going to be using is the Psychic Soul Oracle by Mitchell Combs. Your first message is the Butterfly of Release. Snowflake Obsidian is the crystal. As you release, you will surrender. You will cut, you will cut ties with people and situations, thoughts, patterns, beliefs that just don't resonate with you. And you will let go once and for all and be at peace and be at one with yourself as you go into this new journey. And as you do that, you will get into the butterfly of trust. It will be illuminated to you to trust, to trust yourself, to trust in the divine, to trust other people. Because with the crystal Amazonite, you will have faith, you will have belief, and you will have understanding that anything that is meant for you will never pass you by. You will also be in the butterfly of divine timing. The crystal is the moonstone. You will understand that all comes in divine timing. You will close the cycles of being attached to outcomes, timelines, having expectations. You will find patience if you struggle with being patient and everything will come into alignment because you have released, you have trust, and you know that divine timing is that divine timing. There is no such thing as a clock in the divine realm. And you will be in the butterfly of intuition. Amethyst is the crystal. Feelings, inner knowing, strong guidance. You will be more in tune with your intuition. You will trust the inner feelings you have, the knowing, the strong guidance you are receiving from your angels. And you will be open. Because as you release, you always retreat. You go into solitude, into hermit mode. You step back, you take the look within on what needs to be released. So that is what you've done. You've released, you've transformed, and you are now trusting and you are listening to your intuition. And you become the butterfly of strength, red jasper, standing strong, personal power, fortitude. You will find the strength to find your voice, to find your power, and to live your life to the fullest and not worry about what anyone has to say because you understand that other people's actions and words can only affect you if you allow it. You will take someone's opinion as just that, an opinion, and you will make the final say because it is, because it is your life and it is up to you to live your life to the fullest. The next section is the last section it's the divine messages from the universe i'm going to pull cards for just messages on what spirit wants you to know from a deck i created called butterfly messages from spirit and i will close out the reading with an affirmation one for the divine feminine one for the divine masculine before i go into the extended reading which is going to be on my patreon if you are a subscriber to my Patreon community, you will be able to click on the link below or go to Patreon to see the extended reading. If you are not, my Patreon link is below. There are three tier levels of subscriptions. The first tier level is $5.55, and then the second one is $11.11, and the third is $33.33. Check that out if you want, but no worries if you don't. Then this section is going to bring messages for everyone, including those who don't move on to the extended. Songs have messages. So songs have messages. You are receiving songs with messages from your divine counterpart, from passed over loved ones, from your spirit guides, from spirit. Pay attention to any songs that speak to you, specific lyrics, the entire song. Think about who they re refer to, who they reference to, and the message will come. 
trust. Trust that everything is unfolding the way it should. Trust that you have learned a lot this year and you will take what you have learned this year and move into a new cycle, a new beginning in 2021. If you struggle with trusting, getting in tune with your intuition will help you. Amethyst crystal is a great crystal to work with with intuition. You can just carry or wear it as a piece of jewelry. You can do meditations or guided meditations, whatever you feel comfortable doing, whatever way you want to connect with your intuition and trust more if you feel guided to. The choice is up to you. Speak your truth, throat chakra. So this came through earlier in the reading. Speak your truth. Communication, speaking up, defending yourself, speaking your opinion. If you struggle with any of those, throat chakra meditations, any blue crystal can work, lapis lazuli, sodalite, or any crystal that you feel called to use. And you can find meditations or guided meditations. And I just felt guided to pick up this butterfly organite that I got from Wing and Bell. This butterfly symbolizes transformation, a new beginning. And this is telling you to come out of your cocoon, spread your wings and fly and have a new beginning. Set clear intentions. So as you release what no longer serves you with the full moon energy, you will transform. You will have it illuminated to you. What is coming to light, what is coming, the direction you need to go. And on the next new moon that we have, the new moon in Capricorn, you will be able to set clear intentions to start achieving your goals for 2021. As you say goodbye to 2021, the lessons, the hardships, everything that happened, the good and the bad, release it. Leave 2020 where it belongs in 2020. Don't take any of that energy with you. Focus on the present. Let it be illuminated to you that you must move forward and start new on your journey and start a new cycle to be the best version of yourself you can be. And I'm going to get affirmation for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine before I head over to Patreon. For the feminines, now is the time to integrate all that I have gathered. And for the masculines, I trust the change unfolding in my life. So feminines, integrate all that you have gathered, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, all the downloads. And masculines, trust the change that's unfolding in your life that is going to help you transform and have a new beginning. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on what the full moon in Cancer is going to bring as far as transformation. If this reading resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you feel guided to. I want to thank everyone so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. If you are a subscriber, please make sure you have the bell notification set so you can get notified on my next video. As we shift into 2021, I am going to be posting a lot more videos, doing a lot more fun things on YouTube as well as my Patreon and on my Instagram. Love and light.